Hello friends, welcome to Sidza.com. Now in this video we will learn about the acidic nature of alcohols and phenols. If you look at the alcohols and the phenols, you know the general formula of an alcohol is ROH and the phenols aromatic ring with the OH group. Okay. The strength of an acid we know it depends on the stability of its conjugate base, right? Suppose if alcohol can act as an acid, if it, uh, you know, uh, dissociates the H plus sign here, this proton here, and what it forms, it forms the RO negative. So this one, RO negative is the conjugate base, because if alcohol acts as an acid, right, if this is an acid, we know acid is the one that produces the H plus signs, right, that can, uh, you know, provide H plus signs. So alcohol has an acidic proton and the alcohol when it acts an acid or on a two, this is an alkoxide ion, right? This is called as an alkoxide ion. Okay. The alkoxide ion here becomes the conjugate. It is the conjugate base, right? It is the conjugate base of the acid alcohol. And we know the strength of an acid actually depends on the stability of its conjugate base. That means uh, the strength of an acid depends on the stability of alcohol, you know, uh, of the alkoxide ion. Similarly, when phenol here, when phenol acts as an acid, right, it has an acidic proton. If it provides the H plus sign, when it dissociates the H plus sign, what do you get? You get the phenoxide ion, right? We get the phenoxide ion, okay? This is the phenoxide ion and the phenoxide ion will be called as conjugate base, right? It is the conjugate base of the acid phenol. Now if you compare the alcohols with the phenols, phenols are more acidic than alcohols, right? Phenols are more acidic than alcohols. Why? What should be the reason why phenols are more acidic than alcohols? Okay, so I'm going to write it here. You know, phenols are more acidic than phenols are more acidic. These are more acidic than alcohols. Reason? Pretty simple. As I told you that the strength of an acid depends on the stability of the conjugate base. If phenol is more acidic than alcohol, that means the conjugate base of the phenol, which is phenoxide ion, should be more stable than the alkoxide ion. Correct? So we can say here, the reason is because phenoxide ion, right? Phenoxide ion here is more stable, is more stable than than the alkoxide ion, right? That's the reason why phenoxide ion, you know, that's, that's the reason why phenol is more acidic than alcohols. Okay, now question is, why do you think phenoxide ion is more stable than alkoxide ion? Okay, we'll go step by step here. Why we think that phenoxide ion is more stable? Pretty simple. Because in the phenoxide ion, the negative charge is on the oxygen here, and this negative charge can be delocalized over this whole ring. That means in the phenoxide ion, what is the possible? Resonance, delocalization, okay? Delocalization of this negative charge is possible. So due to the resonance here, right? Due to the resonance in the phenoxide ion, you know, the conjugate, uh, uh, you know, conjugate base of the phenol becomes more stable, right? So phenoxide ion is more stable due to the resonance. So resonance stabilizes the uh, phenoxide ion. That's why it is more stable than alkoxide. In alkoxide ion, there is no possibility of resonance, right? There is no delocalization of an, you know, negative charge, right? So there is no resonance, I can say. Pretty simple. So there is no resonance, there is no delocalization, the negative charge on the oxygen will always remain on that particular oxygen. While as in the, in case of phenols, right, while as in case of phenoxide ion, the resonance is possible, the negative charge will be delocalized. Let's, you know, uh, write down a couple of resonating structures of the phenoxide ion. See, if you got the phenol with a negative charge, with the electron pair here, and we got the benzene ring, we know that in a benzene ring there are alternate single and double bonds, and then what will happen here? This negative charge will go over here, 
and this electron pair will go here and the oxygen will form a double bond with the benzene ring and the negative charge gets delocalized over the ortho position right you can see here and then in another canonical structure the negative charge forms a double bond here and this electron pair goes to the para position that means now another canonical structure for the phenoxide ion can be written like this so then the negative charge which was actually initially on the oxygen is now shared by the other oxygen you know, carbon atoms of the benzene ring it goes to the ortho position then it goes to the para and now uh, one more structure is possible in which the it will go to the another ortho position here okay it'll form a double bond here double bond here and the negative charge is over here and then it goes down again it forms here and you got the first product back correct so due to the de you know delocalization of the negative charge the phenoxide ion is more stable that's why the phenols are more acidic right that's why the phenols are more acidic than alcohols while as in case of an alcohol suppose if it is methanol ethanol propanol right whatever it is the oxygen will you know uh, uh, have a negative charge there and it will not be delocalized there is no resonance possible in it that's why the alcohol uh, alcohols are less acidic than phenols right and what about the different types of alcohols right we know we have one degree secondary and the tertiary alcohols what will be the acidic nature of the different types of alcohols okay so among the different alcohols right suppose we have different alcohols primary alcohols are more acidic okay primary alcohols are more acidic than secondary and tertiary we know the primary alcohol is the one where you have got actually an OH group attached to the primary carbon and the primary carbon is the one which is attached with the only one alkyl group this is the primary alcohol right and in the secondary alcohol you got two alkyl groups and the OH here and the tertiary alcohol you got three alkyl groups here okay so this is the primary or you can say the one degree alcohol this one is the secondary alcohol and this is tertiary alcohol see the difference here is the number of alkyl groups the conjugate base from the primary alcohol will be like this R CH2 O negative right that is the conjugate base and the conjugate base from the secondary alcohol will be that will be R R it's like this O negative here and from the tertiary alcohol the conjugate base of the tertiary alcohol can be written like this so what we see the difference we see the difference uh, in the number of alkyl groups you can see alkyl groups you know there are two there are three in this case and we know that alkyl group is electron donor right you know it has a plus i effect positive inductive effect okay that is it can donate electrons right when it donates electrons so the negative charge on the oxygen will be more so that means the alkyl groups actually increase the negative charge it'll increase the electron density on the oxygen therefore the stability of this conjugate base will decrease right so the stability of the conjugate base decreases because it increases the negative charge on the oxygen okay it increases the electron density the three alkyl groups here they increase the electron density in case of secondary it has got only two alkyl groups right only two electron donors they will also increase the electron density but the thing is that the number of groups here are more here the number of groups are less so that's why secondary will be more acidic than tertiary you know it has also the positive effect these are the uh, alkyl groups with the positive inductive effect they will increase the negative charge on the oxygen but since there are three groups and here we see only three you know two hydrogen doesn't you know donate electrons it doesn't have the positive effect so if you compare the tertiary and the secondary secondary will be more acidic than tertiary and primary will be even more acidic than the secondary because it only got the one alcohol in one, one alkyl group here right so therefore we can say among the different alcohols the order of you know acidic strength is one degree is more uh, as you know, you know stronger acid than secondary than tertiary so this is the order of the acidic strength right among the different alcohols Phenols more acidic than alcohols and among the alcohols it is primary which is more acidic than secondary than tertiary 
And the logic here is the same. We have to, you know, just check the stability of the conjugate base, right? The stability of the conjugate base is more stable for the primary, then secondary, then tertiary. So the stability order of the conjugate bases is one degree conjugate base is more stable than secondary than tertiary. That's why the order of acidic strength will be like this. Right? And now when we compare the acidic strength of alcohols with the water, H2 and alcohols, okay, let's say the ROH here. Again, we will use the same concept, right? We are going to use the same concept. We will use the same logic. Stability of the conjugate base. Water, when acts as an acid, it donates the H plus sign, right? Okay, the conjugate base of the water will be OH negative. Pretty simple, no? Hydroxide ion. Okay, and when alcohol acts as an acid, the conjugate base of the alcohol is alkoxide, RO negative. And what is the difference? You know what we see the difference in the conjugate bases. The difference is we got the hydro hydrogen here and we got here the alkyl group. An alkyl is electron donor, therefore the alkoxide ion is less stable than the hydroxide. Pretty simple. Hydroxide ion will be more stable than alkoxide ion. That means water will be more acidic than alcohol. Why? Because hydrogen doesn't donate electrons. Okay, it cannot increase the negative charge on the oxygen. While as in case of alkoxide ions, due to the inductive effect of the alkyl groups here, they will increase the negative charge on the oxygen and therefore the conjugate base of the alkoxide ion is less stable, right, than the hydroxide ion. So we can see here, the water is more acidic. H2 is more acidic, right? It is more acidic than alcohols. Okay, in general, alcohols in, in general, whether it is primary, secondary, or tertiary, so it is more acidic. The reason, the reason is because, you know, the hydroxide ion, okay, the conjugate base of water, which is hydroxide ion, right? Hydroxide ion is more stable, right? Is more stable than, than the alkoxide ion, okay? Hydroxide ion is more stable than the alkoxide ion. That's why water is more acidic than the alcohols. There's an exceptional case only. Uh, that is about the water uh, and the methanol. Okay, the methanol. See, this is a bit different one. Here is the me methanol, right? Methanol is a CH3OH. Okay. Here the methanol, when you compare the acidic strength of the methanol with the water, actually the methanol is more acidic than, than the water. All other alcohols are less acidic than water, right? So you can say all other alcohols are less acidic than water, okay? All other alcohols are less acidic than water, but methanol has a slight edge, right? There's a little bit difference, right? In the acidic nature of methanol and the, uh, and the water. A methanol has a slightly edge over the water. So methanol is more acidic than water and which is more acidic than any alcohol, right? Whether it is primary, secondary, and tertiary. And we know that among the alcohols, the order of, you know, uh, strength is, order of the acidic nature is, one degree is more acidic than secondary, than tertiary, right? And when you compare water, uh, alcohol, and we compare it with the phenols. Among all of these, among all the three, it is the phenol which is more acidic. Correct? Phenols are more acidic even the water. Correct? Okay. So phenols are more acidic than water. And again, because in phenols, uh, due to the resonance, right, the phenoxide ion is more stable. And if you compare it with the water, you know, phenol and the water, it is the phenol which is more acidic because the phenoxide ion is more stable due to the resonance and there is no resonance possible in case of water. And we have learned that water is more acidic than the alcohols. Okay? Than the alcohols. So therefore we can say the general, the overall order of this, you know, acidic strength can be written as like this. You know, the phenol is more acidic, right? Phenol is more acidic 
than water, right? Which is more acidic, suppose, than ethanol, right? So we can see the primary alcohol. Okay, let me write down like this, or CH2OH, then the primary alcohol. And the primary alcohol is more acidic than the secondary alcohol. And the secondary alcohol is more acidic than the tertiary alcohols. So tertiary alcohols are the least acidic uh, alcohols, right? So this is the decreasing order of the acidic strength. The phenols are more acidic. Okay. And what if you attach, you know, some groups uh, to the phenol? So what will be the effect of the substitution on the phenols, right? Effect of the substitution, substituent groups on the phenols, right? Groups, uh, you know, that you attach to the phenol can either increase the acidic nature or it can decrease. It depends on what type of the group it is. You know, when you do some uh, substitution, you attach in a particular group to the phenol, it can either increase its acidic nature or it can decrease. It depends whether the group is, uh, whether the group is electron releasing group. Is it electron releasing group or is it electron uh, withdrawing group? Okay. Electron releasing groups, you know, the group that can release, that can donate more electrons to it, that will obviously stab, you know, uh, make it less stable. You know, the conjugate base will uh, become less stable, right? Because it will increase uh, the negative charge on the conjugate base. Electron releasing groups, they donate electrons and therefore the negative charge, the electron density on the oxygen will increase. So therefore the acidic strength will decrease. So we can see here, in general, the electron releasing groups, they decrease here the acidic nature, right? They decrease the acidic nature of the, uh, you know, the phenols. Okay? Electron releasing group. That means if you attach a group like, suppose, the alkyl group, right? At any position, right? Uh, that will decrease the acidic nature. While as the groups uh, that withdraw electrons, right? When they withdraw electrons, so therefore that will, you know, decrease uh, the negative charge, electron density on the oxygen, and therefore it will stabilize the you know, conjugate base and therefore the acidic nature will increase. Okay, they will increase the acidic nature. Let's have a one quick question on it. Suppose we got the phenol, phenol here. Okay. With methyl group attached to the, at the para position without any substitution. So here we know that nitro group is electron withdrawing group, alkyl is electron releasing group here. So therefore, withdrawing groups, they increase the acidic nature. So therefore, the decreasing order, right, decreasing order of their st acidic strength will be, B is more acidic than what? Than C, okay? Than C, and the C is more acidic than A, because at the set here, electron releasing groups, they decrease the acidic nature, right? So if you compare the methyl group here, you know, this A molecule here, with the substitution at the para position, right? If you compare this one with the simple phenol, phenol is more acidic because methyl group decreases the acidic strength, while as nitro group, it increases the acidic strength. So among the three, the, you know, para nitro phenol, will be most most acidic hope you got the concept thanks for watching the video bye for now